Hey guys, Erica with a K here. Today's video is going to be on YouTube 101 because I think this is a really important topic to talk about if you're starting out on YouTube. Okay, so the first thing is your name on YouTube. I was under the impression that you couldn't change your name on YouTube, but I have seen people leave comments on my, vi on my videos and then they ch change their names. And I thought you couldn't do that. So my first thing is, if you can't do that, I don't know if there's like some tricky way you can, you should make your name something that you're gonna have forever. So for example, if you're in like direct sales, just say it shouldn't be like LuLaRoe Erica because one day you might not be selling LuLaRoe and you should really have your own identity. People wanna identify with you. They don't wanna identify with this direct sales brand that you're selling. Um, and plus, if you do wanna talk about LuLaRoe, people will take you more serious if you're not hardcore LuLaRoe, this is it, this is who I am, this is what I do. People want to talk to you, they want to trust you, they want to know you, they don't want to know LuLaRoe. Like that's, that. and I'm not just saying LuLaRoe, I'm saying like any direct sales company at all. Especially if you jump around from direct sales company to direct sales company, you definitely don't want your name to have anything to do with your direct sales company because then you're kind of stuck with it. Especially if you start to build a following and you ever want to like get out of that direct sales company like you'd have to start all over. But again, I did see somebody recently leave a comment and then change their name after they left the comment. So I'm not sure if that is something that can be done, but to my knowledge, it was, you're not, you're not able to do that. Your name is what sticks with you for forever. So that's the first thing I want to say. Your videos will come across as biased when they see like that that is who you are. Like, oh, I sell, I sell unique. So therefore my name is Erica, Un unique Erica. Who's going to take me serious? Who's going to take my review serious? Like, you know I'm only saying this because I sell it. So that's something um, to consider. So that's my number one. Okay, my number two is don't lose sleep over when people give you thumbs down on your videos. I'm the kind of person who would like never give a thumbs down on somebody else's video because if I don't like your video, I'll just X out of it. Like I would never like sit through, watch your video and then like be like, I don't like this and give it a thumbs down. That's just not me. But there are many people who are like that and I've noticed that on some of my videos. But honestly, like don't lose sleep over it be thankful that they watched your video, be thankful that they gave it a thumbs down because both those things are giving your video traction. It's making it more searchable, it's making you more relatable, more relevant. So even if somebody gives you a thumbs down, it's kind of like them giving you a thumbs up because it's just making your video more relevant. Now it's reaching more people. So don't lose sleep over stuff like that. That is something that's awesome about YouTube that anytime somebody leaves you a mean comment, anytime somebody gives you a thumbs down, it doesn't matter because it's all just helping you. Um, you want to be honest and kind to everybody. A lot of things can get lost in translation through typing out messages so sometimes you can come across as like really sweet and authentic and nice and it can just come across the wrong way that's okay that's gonna happen to you it's it's inevitable but just try to be really nice to everybody try to appreciate everybody's feedback even if it's negative even if it's not constructive criticism criticism even if it's just criticism like just appreciate that somebody's even watching your video and giving you that time. They're literally sitting there giving you that time. They're giving you their time, which is like the most valuable thing in the world. So just appreciate that they're even doing that. And of course, like I said before, like thumbs down and and uh, comments, like it all gives you traction on your video. It all just shows that your video is real. So don't let any of it get you down. Don't be upset about any of it. I always say to everybody like, thanks for watching, thanks for your comment. Like I'm literally saying thank you because you're giving me traction and you're giving me views and you're you're making my video more searchable. So even if you're leaving me a nasty comment, thank you. So just remember something like that. Um, and also you definitely want to acknowledge the people who are nice um, and you want to respond to like everybody. I can't really understand not responding to people. That's like really strange to me. Even if they're being nasty to me, like I still respond in the nicest way I can because I just feel like I don't know, it's kind of rude. Like not, like if somebody texts you, you just like never respond to them. Like that's so rude. And like this is like supposed to be your fan base and you're following your subscribers, people who want to watch you, people who, who th these are the reasons why you're doing these videos for your subscribers. Like so just acknowledge them, comment, respond to them. And if you're not sure how to comment, because for a while I was getting confused and I would try to comment, it would say like comment failed. And I had actually mentioned this in a vlog, but I'm actually gonna put a clip in of how you comment on all the comments that are there. Okay, so as you can see, it says comment failed underneath the post. So what you're gonna do is go to the top of your, your main page and go to video manager. Then you're gonna go down to community. When you get to community, you're going to just see all the comments there. The only comments that aren't there are comments that are left on comments. So if somebody wrote a comment and then somebody replied to it, that comment will not be there. Um, so you do have to actually like look for those if you wanna reply. But all the other comments are there, so you could just individually go down the line and just 
comment on everything. And then you could also go to the tabs on top that say held for review and likely spam. You might find some comments in there that actually aren't spam. Um, sometimes they let you approve it and sometimes they don't. But that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you like this video. Thank you so, so much for your love and support. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.